Namdekano claims Tinubu 2023 presidential ambition is the cause for NSA's protest. The IPOP leader argued that the plan of the Fulani was to sow discord and disunity in southern Nigeria to prevent them from presenting a common front. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, has said that the 2020 NSAS protest failed to produce a revolution because of the alleged ambition of an all-progressive Congress national leader, Bola Tinubu, to become president in 2023. Kano argued that the Yoruba media watered down the NSAS protest to prevent Nigerian from collapsing so that Tunubu could be president by 2023. The IPOP leader argued that the plan of the Fulani was to sow discord and disunity in southern Nigeria to prevent them from presenting a common front. Kanu stated that this in a special live broadcast on Sunday while lamenting that the NSAS protest was an avenue for the oppressed people to regain their freedom from the oppressors. He said the Yoruba are trying to protect their interests because they know by 2023 there is every likelihood that they may rig Tunubu into office. I remember NSAS very well. When you came out for a revolution, you must go to the end. When next you are planning to protest, go and study the George Washington Revolution in America. If you think a revolution is to come out on the street, dance to musicians, no, it is not. When the revolution failed, was when the Yoruba media allowed themselves to be used. They thought if Nigeria collapsed, Tunubu would not be president in 2023. They kept bringing in tribal religion and other issues. Had we remained on the street, forgetting about the palliatives, by now the zoo would have collapsed. They, the Fulani, mm -hmm. know that it becomes impossible to penetrate us. So for them to succeed, they have to bring a very clever plot. Unfortunately, the Yoruba media is in support and I have warned them repeatedly. I have warned my Yoruba friends that this double game you are playing will consume you. And today, they are in Yoruba land, killing and taking over their forest. If not for the bravery of the Eastern Security Network, I do not think that the Amoteko would have the courage to confront the Fulani headsmen in their forest. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. This is serious. If not for the bravery of the Eastern Security Network, I do not think that the Amoteko would have the courage to confront the Fulani headsmen in their forests. That shows that the Fulanese are mostly found in the forest. No wonder the Eastern Security Network relocated to the forest. No wonder they relocated to the forest. And our Nigerian military are claiming that uh, that uh, there is nothing like Eastern Security Network. No wonder they cannot get hold of the bandits because they are afraid of going to the to the forest. If they know that they have their feet 
and com well confidence. Why, why? What is stopping them from going to the forest? What's preventing them? What? 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 The need for the fear? I thought they said they are confident enough. Huh? So what's the need? Why are they afraid? Huh? Even after now, they cannot give them the, mm -hmm. the prescription on how to get to the Eastern Security Network. To date, they have not been able to. Can you see that? That is a problem. And that's how they will continue to summon fear. <laughs> um, the Fulanese of a truth, they are mostly found in the forest. That is where they they believe they can they can stay because they don't want um they don't want to pay for rent of anything unknown to them that even the forest they are relocating to still belong to the to the to the indigents because that is the land of the indigents and when the indigents go after them and say that this is their land what are they doing there they will start challenging and attacking the indigents on their own property that is the problem that is why um we are having this chaos and trouble in nigeria the fulan is claiming what what is not theirs that is their problem if they have been this humble enough and um, admitting to the fact that yes, they know that the land they are occupying is not theirs. That okay, for the meantime, they should be allowed to um, to stay there, pending when um, they are able to get a better place. The owner of the land will not challenge them, but for them claiming ownership of what is not theirs, one, they are not from that state. To the other community too, the land doesn't belong to them, but it belongs to uh to to the to 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 the to, to the east, south eastern person, eh? and they will still go after the person. They will not just go after the person; they will kill and brutalize the person and throw the person to animals to feed on. And you are saying that we should not do away with them. No wonder the Eastern Security Network located to the forest. Let them see how they can they can be able uh, to 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 come in, to come in into the uh, the southeast um, forest again, or come in and attack the 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 the, the southeasterners that are going to their farm to farm. Can't you see that we no longer hear any strange stories about any Eastern are going to the farm again. We don't hear that. Before, you hear that in Enugu State, um, one farmer was brutalized just because his farm was, uh, because um, a Fulani was grazing on his land. They made a mess of, 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 of um, farmer's crops last year. So please, my viewers, What's your own take on this news? Please, deem it free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.